Hi, Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we're going to discuss ATS 600 ring scanning. First, inside of the software, we're going to navigate to the acquisition mode, and we're going to select ring scan. Then we're going to click on the gears. Inside of the gears, we have a couple different options. We have line to line, point to point, minimum and maximum zenith, and we can modify these values by simply clicking inside of the box and pressing tab to accept. And we even have the ability to update the time estimate at the bottom. Once we are complete, select apply and then navigate to measure and click on measure. Next, you will see the estimated scan time appear at the bottom. You can enable the instrument camera and this will show you the data coming into the software from the instrument. If you disable it, you now have the ability to move it out and it becomes a static live view of the data coming into the software. As the scanner goes around, the red dot that you are seeing is where the ATS 600 is currently located. Now we will fast forward and we can see that we have around 98,000 points that were acquired from the ATS 600. We can start to see the object that the ATS 600 is physically scanning, as well as height, width, and location of the features in the main graphical view. This makes it a lot easier to do a ring scan at a job site to physically see where the ATS 600 was located and the location of the tracker in relation to the features you are physically measuring. This will be a great help for a visual aid if you are unsure of the site location. Now that it's complete, we can rotate the Cloud1 data in the main graphical view to see the scanned data inside of the software. Select Finish Measuring from the Cloud1. You can double left click on your Cloud1 properties to view additional information. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were inspired.